Hi everyone. Now my name is Stephanie and welcome to our ACCA Advanced Performance Management Online Intensive Revision course. Now, once again, uh, I would like to welcome everyone aboard, especially looking at these very interesting papers. Now, as the, at the first part, which is the area that we have to start, is always to look into the exam question, all right, as we can see here. That's a class. Now, don't forget, when we are looking at section A exam question, it's always important for the students or the candidates to draft a report. And as a result class from here, and let me bring you to this area by looking at the exam question requirement. Now, I would say this is always one of the difficulties faced by the ACC candidates, as they find now it is difficult to interpret the exam question by knowing nothing or not too clear about what the examiners expect, we find that this is always one of the main problems that they faced. And as a result, now let me bring you over here and to look at these exam question, now by the name of Shivan Stores, and look into the four main parts of the requirements. Let's have a look at this. Now, number one. Now you are required to write a report to the board of Shivan in order to evaluate the performance report in the appendix one as requested. That's a class. Now it's one of the very important key word here when we are looking at to evaluate the report. Now, of course, some student will probably ask and say, now Steffi, when you get to see the word performance report and performance, now what does it indicate? For example, in the exam, if they are asking for the evaluation of the performance report here, we are here to look into four main areas and where the students are required to know which are the four. For example, the M, S, D and P. Now class, this has always seen to be one of the commonly seen exam questions in ACCA APM. Now bearing in mind, the word M stands for mission. S is the strategy, D design, P presentation. Now, class, so always remember about these, which means they do not really need you to assess their overall performance using the ratios. No, because they are merely looking at the keyword here, which is the report. Okay, so that's what we call as the MSDMP. Now, so we we'll take a look at this question shortly. And number two. The second part here, it's when they want us to evaluate the performance, okay? Now, if it's merely the performance, we will then probably have to use financial ratios if we're here to measure financial performance, or on top of that, the non-financial measures. Now, of course, in our course of our online session here, will be able to see different types of the non-financial performance measures. Now, different models we are talking about. For example, with the use of balance scorecard, that's what we call it as BSC. The use of building block or the performance pyramid. Okay, so as a result class, it depends on which part they want the students to look into. Now, most of the time, based on the exam questions, we could see the very first part is more commonly examined or tested in the exam. Now, so as a result, later we have to spend time looking at part number one by looking at the marks, you know, that is so substantial and is about 20 marks. Now, number two. Now, the students are required to use the data in appendix one and in which you are required to recommend with the appropriate calculations and justification. Now, remember, as what we have discussed earlier, class, that we know, particularly if it's for section A exam question, whenever you see any form of the calculations and that has to be, all right, uh, prepared or even produced in the appendix, and that's what we get to see. Now, of course, they are here looking at three new performance badges for Shivan as requested, 
Okay, so we have part number one and number two. Now, so later we'll see what will be the ratios or what are the measures that will be required. Now, number three. Now, they do need us to advise an appropriate performance measures as well as the system for Shivan when using the value chain approach to simplify the supply chain. Okay, now, so class, previously, when we started the introduction of this APM, I did mention about this. Now, I said, now, most of the time, class, in the examination, now, some students probably with the mindset that now this value chain approach or even the system, it's one of the topics that I used to cover in my SPL studies. So I'm going to use and apply the same way how I answer my SPL questions back to this APM. Now, so class, if you're having this mindset, uh, I would actually suggest you, okay, now probably to change this perception because now we know even though value chain analysis or as what we say that some other strategic business models not just in SBL and ABM but the way of attempting the exam questions are very different so therefore that's what we will have to see and in total here there will be a seven marks now don't forget now in terms of the diagram to be used in the value chain analysis and that will then subsequently be presented in the appendix that's so therefore later we have to refer to the appendix presented and prepared by the examiner now not to forget as what i've mentioned just now it is also important for you to look at this part now where they say to discuss the development of the big data and its potential impact on the Shivan's information system. Can you see that? No. So as what I mentioned in the introduction part, now we did see that most of the time in your section A case study, we would expect to see questions on IT or the information system and including any form of the risks and challenges that it presents. Okay, now, so in a way, you find that four marks will be given for Section A exam questions and that represent the professional marks. So in total, that's going to be a 50 marks here in order for you to answer or to attempt the very first question. Okay, great. Now, so class, now not to forget, we mentioned that it's important. Now, let's see to go through this paragraph by paragraph. Now, let's have a look at this. Now, Shivan Stores, which is Shivan, it's a listed clothing retailer in Bilan. Its overall aim, once again, that is what we say as the mission, is to become the largest clothing retailer in Bilan and deliver exceptional value to the shareholders. Now, bear in my class, this is going to be M1. What is this? Mission number one. And this will be M2, mission number two. And it says, it has recently dropped down the clothing retailer rankings from the fourth to the fifth largest. And the shareholders have expressed concern at the lack of the dividend growth at time when spending in the b -land clothing market has been growing. Okay, so that's the first paragraph. Now, next. Now, there has been a recent change of the CEO and the new CEO has identified that the performance reporting at Shivand is not fit for the needs of the business. She has asked you to prepare a report to the board to address the performance management and management issues which she sees as most important. Now, her plan is to achieve the overall aim by maximizing. Now, so class, let's see this. Now, when I say they are here to achieve the aim by, so the word by or through, we know these are all the strategies. And that's what we know as the S. Now, class, now that's actually to maximize the opportunities from the new technology and increasing our currently small web presence. Can you see that? Now, maximize small web presence 
and that's going to be S1, no, plus. So this is very much by looking at the presence of the web sales, but not just the store, and knowing that it is increasingly important nowadays. Now, she wants a detailed evaluation of the current performance report, now, which is used by the board for its annual review now, of the business as shown in Appendix 1. She wants the task split into two parts. First, to evaluate the existing set of the measures and their presentation. And number two, now add three new measures later on, which you believe address the key issues for the business, but are not currently on the report. She has stated that the report does not need a commentary as she and the finance director talk through the report in detail with the board. Okay, so that's fine. So, so far they have already told you what they want. As compared to the past exam questions those days, it seems that this is in a way clearer. Now, when I say it is clearer, which means clear instructions has been given in the examination. Okay, great. Now, move on. Now, they say in an additional effort to drive the improvement and to gain the competitive advantage for Shivan, the board has decided to use the value chain as a business integration tool. It seems that the CEO has provided a copy of the value chain diagram, which was discussed at the last board meeting, which is Appendix 2. She believes that now further improvement in Shivan's performance can be achieved through the simplification of the supply chain. Now, plus bearing in mind. Now, this is always something we have to remember. Now, say, for example, when we are here to simplify the supply chain, that simply means to cut down on the number of suppliers for the business. Now, so therefore, the CEO believes that this has the implication for the performance measurement and the information system at Shivan. And they want your report to address these as well. Okay, great. Now, class, you know, whenever we're talking about the relationship between the supplier and the business, we will always think of the SCM. Come again, what does it mean? Now, that refers to or stands for the supply chain management. We're talking about now how the supplier meets the immediate needs or the demand of the business. Now, by supplying high-quality materials, components, or even the ingredients to the business. Now, so therefore, let's see the last part. Now, finally, the seal has already identified one important reason for Shivan's poor performance, and that is its failure to make use of the big data in relation to Shivan's web sales. Now, plus... Now, it's important later for us to refer to the definition of the big data and which we believe that it's mainly to support data mining. Now, it's getting more and more important, especially by referring and linking this part to e or digital marketing, okay, that we're seeing. So this data mining is catered for targeted marketing for your information, all right? Now, so of course, now, we know, class, as we say, the digital marketing is one of the areas or the key focus right here. And they mention, she believes that the board does not understand the implication of what is volume, velocity, and variety of the data for the business. And wants you to write a guide for them. She is aware that this is a new and rapidly developing now, need for most of the businesses. And therefore, she considers that the board should also be brief about its risk as well as challenges. Okay, great. Now, so class. Now, since this is the first question that we are looking at, I think by briefing you on the exam technique, it's always seemed to be important. And that include what answers are we going to produce in the examination. So therefore, later, I will try to make use of this as our first question to show you if we are here to come up with the point form and
to write in Fu, and with a reference of the use of the past exam question, particularly the model answer prepared by the examiner. Now, you as the candidate, what must you do? So I'm going to brief you particularly from the very first question. Okay. Now, next. The CEO wants a report which she can actually present to the board to address these various performance issues at Shivan. Okay. Now, so this is somehow important as we know. These are some of the key areas that uh, they want us to look into. Now, do not forget. Now, we always say in the examination, it is important for you to start off with the reference of the appendix. And let's have a look at this. That's so class. Now, when it comes to the appendix part, okay, the appendix part, don't forget. Now, this appendix here, it's mainly later to support the first part for the evaluation of the performance report. And let's have a look. Now, it says... For the Shivan stores, we're looking at the annual performance report for the year ended March 2080. Okay, as what you get to see. Now, so as a result, let's have a look at this report area. Okay, first of all, now we have revenue, which is the clothing and others for three different categories. Now, region wise, that's for A, B, and C. And with a column of the total. Now we get to know that class that's mainly uh, for the comparison between year 2017 and year 2018. That class. So it shows us all the financial data so far with the revenue. And subsequently, class, we know the next part is the operating profit margin, the percentage. Now, so we know class for the percentage here. So far, there are two. We have 16.5% individually for each year. Okay, now, so with this margin, that refers to the profit before interest and tax. And I believe that class, it's possible for us actually to calculate the operating profit. Okay, now, so we would just have to take the 2632 and subsequently to multiply with the profit margin. So you get to know. Now taking these, we multiply with the profit margin here, and which we believe that class is important for you to get the operating profit. That equals to 434 million for your information. Now next. Now the next one is 2606 and falling by the margin rate. And again, this is about 430 million for your information. Okay, now plus. So with all these figures produced, and that could help us later, particularly in the second part of the question where we have to design new meshes. Okay. Now generally, you could actually see there will be a list of the meshes given. And let's have a look at this. Now, number one. The number of stores, EPS, dividend per share, the EVA. Now that's the economic value added to be covered in the following question. We have the inventory turnover rate, the average number of the product lines bought per supplier, and this is something that relate to the supply chain. The floor space in terms of the square meters, market share, number of employee, number of suppliers, that relates to the supply chain, ROCE, the number of accidents in stores, average opening time for the customers, as you can see. Now, therefore, following by the WACC, the average time between the customer's entry and the employee greetings in seconds. So, lastly, the inventory obsolescent loss write downs. And class, now, before we move on to see some other measures and let me tell you this. Now, don't you find that here, there is actually no categorization, as we can see here. Now, so when I say the categorizations of the measures, which means 
it does not actually split or categorize all these measures into different areas such as like financial, such as like customers, or things to do with the business operation. And so far, it is short of all these categorization. And as a result, we should actually include these as part of the evaluation of the performance report. Now, moving on. Now, we also get to see class, there will be the appendix number two. Now, so it shows to us that this appendix two is the one with the value chain. So later, we're going to spend some time looking at what is this value chain as part of the business integration and how does it actually create value to the business and the customers. Okay, so therefore, plus, this is under appendix number two for your information. Okay, now, so therefore, class, let's see. Now, when it comes to this appendix number two in the first place, okay, appendix number two in the first place. Now, here you go, and that's the one, okay? Now, first of all, now for this particular appendix two, we know that later, this will relate to the third part of our question. Okay, this is the third part of our question. So subsequently, it's something pretty straightforward. Okay, so explanation wise, we get to see these later on. And therefore, for now, now what is important is to start looking at the very first part, as I mentioned, how we make use of the MSDNP. All right, particularly if you see that in the exam, and if let's say you're required to assess the performance report here. And that's going to be our first part of today. Okay, come. Now, so since this is the first question that we are seeing here, I think it's important for us now, now to actually start off by briefing, okay, how all these should be prepared for your information. Okay, so let us see this. Now we realize that class it starts from to from date and subject. Now class Y. Now one of the main reasons is because just now we were talking about if we are here to prepare the report. And bear in mind that class. Now four marks professional marks, okay, will then be provided and falling by the provision of the right format. And on top of that, we even uh, talk about how to actually produce your paragraph of introduction. Okay, so let's start from two. Now, we are actually producing this to the board of directors of Shiva for your information. So this is the one. Now, of course, what can state here as the performance management expert okay so you got to say some students they probably state that as the from acca candidate or the apm candidate now we try not to include that and try to play the role of the consultant or the performance management expert for the company now date wise in terms of the date you can state that for example that's to do with uh, assuming 15 june 2020 all right if that's the exam date and subject wise what we can do is to state the performance issue at Shivan. that's good enough okay now so i will only be showing you these for once and with the expectation that class you will be able to produce the entire set of the report later on okay on your own now so let's see now when it comes to the first part we know introduction will be required here and that's pretty important and class here now let us see in terms of the introduction uh, what you have to prepare now so i mentioned now this report highlights the key issue on the evaluation of performance report this is number one now, with the suggestions of three 
new measures for our company. Can you see that? So this is section A exam question, and that's all right if you're going to state our company and then we are doing something like this and these are okay. Now, I mentioned in addition, now the use of value chain analysis, okay, has been brought here as well as the application of the big data okay in improving the overall strategic performance of our company okay great not so close now this is actually what you can see in a way by showing a very detailed part of the introduction. And that's what the examiner is looking at. And that's what we basically need, okay? Now that's actually quite straightforward class. And if that's all right, then we will start with the very first part. Now the very first part here, as we say, is when we're looking at the evaluation of the report. And therefore class, ask yourself this question. Now, are the students required to make use of all the ratios and to make performance comparison in this case? Now, if it's with the word of performance report, but not just the performance, technically, you do not need to perform any comparison between the company's performance. Okay, but we're talking about whether is there any measures. Okay, because we know measures means the key performance indicator. And from this KPI, we're able to measure the achievement of the CSF and the final goal. And that seems to be very important here. Okay, now, so what I'm going to do is that as part of discussing about these, I think it's important for me to start off with the key points and then later, I'm going to demonstrate that how a complete paragraph or the full paragraph to be produced in the examination. Okay, this is the one. Okay, come on, let's see. Now, for these key points here, first of all, now I'm going to use the points, but make sure in the exam you have to write in full. Okay, that's the one. Now, come, number one for the key points. Now, this key points, number one, we are talking about mission okay so we say we start off with the mission by identifying the mission in the question for our company and subsequently we have to know whether any measures for these now that appear in appendix one the strategic report okay let's see now they mentioned that class we're coming back to the question and just to show you this now they said is to become the largest clothing retailer. Can you see that? So they are looking at to be the largest, okay? Now, clothing retailer, this is what we can see. And therefore, you can ask yourself, is there any measure for this? Now, that is a very important question. So any measure in where? Now, the measure in the report. We're talking about and that's in the appendix number one now so class if that's the case let us have a look at these then you will know so we say any measure now the answer is yes the market share it's the one okay now market share has been provided or we say it's the measure but is that sufficient okay class now let me tell you now, you know, a lot of or many of the ACCA APM candidates, they would face or experience this problem. Now, where they only answer partially of the questions. Okay, so that's the reason why some of them could probably score 30 plus, 40 plus marks in the examination. Because we are looking at a complete answer to be provided, yet they do not. Okay, now, so I'm going to teach you the technique now, how to come up with a complete set of the answer here. Now, so therefore, class, let's have a look at this one. 
Now, if you are looking at this, now bearing in mind that this is the case. Now we said, however. Now I think we're trying to give them the suggestion that something more to be added here. So we say, however, market leader rate. It's important or is required for you actually to assess whether you appear to be number one. Can you see that? Okay. So by stating this, you're going to get one mark, for example, in terms of the measure. And number two, by coding market leader rate is required for the industry, you will get another one mark. So therefore, all these are seen to be important when we are looking at the very first point. Now, number two. Now, what about the second point that we are seeing here? Now, if you are seeing the second area here, let's see, other than the largest clothing retailer. Now, we know is to deliver exceptional value to the shareholders. Now, don't forget. Now, class, we realize that since most of the exam questions in ABM telling us that they are the listed companies. So, class, now this listed company as shown in the first paragraph, and therefore it's important right now for us to see, is there any of the measures appears to be the right one for listed company? For example, now we could actually go for the EPS, the dividend per share, the EVA, or even the ROCE. Now, so therefore, by coding this, we know they are financial related. But again, that's not the end. Why? Because somehow we know we need the TSR. And that's what we call as the total shareholders return. Okay? In a way. Now, so therefore, class, now we're going to say at present, yes, measures such as the EVA. Now, appears to be longer term. EPS, RSCE, and dividend yield. Can you see that? Okay. Now, they are all available in this case. But again, we're trying to code and to give some of the suggestion. However, now let's see. Now, we find that class from here, what do they mean by these however in the first place as what you can see, number one. Now, we mentioned, however, total share holders return, which is TSR, should be included as part of the measure. Now, since it is to assess the value created to shareholders by our companies. Okay, because we just mentioned we are one of the listed companies. Okay, great. Now, so class. Now, with that, we actually finish off the very first part where we talk about how to come up with the mission. Now, don't forget. Now, from here, you probably gained and score a four marks from the very first part. And knowing that in total, this is going to be 20 marks for the very first part. Okay, so that's what everyone will have to know. Okay, great. Now, let's come back to number two, which is the strategy. So we believe that class, in terms of the strategy, we have quite a number of them. And of course, in the question itself, I have stated and identified only one. But actually, we have more than one in this case. So we're going to identify one by one. For example, now the first one that we can see here technically is to maximize the opportunities. Okay, now so we mentioned that from here in new technologies. So that's going to be the first strategies. And number two, we're talking about increasing the web presence, and that could be measured by the use of the web sales. Okay, now moving on, now making use of big data appears to be one of their strategies and also to simplify 
the supply chain. Okay, so these are the four main parts. Okay, now class, by looking at all these, it's possible for us now to look into one by one. Okay, now it's going to be the same question here. We just want to know, is there any measure? Okay, now that's important for you actually to see it here. Now we talk about these class to maximize the opportunity. In the new technologies, we will say no at present. All right, none at present, no. There is no measure right now as shown in Appendix 1 or the report. And that's what you have to know, class. Now, so some students will probably start asking and say that, no, Steffi, there is no measure. So what we can do, the class, if it is none, no measure given, and let's come up with the suggested KPI. Now, so what could be the measures for us actually to look into, okay? So the data by itself, it does not show. And therefore, now what we said, it's possible for you probably to look into now any of, any of the investment costs incurred, okay? Now on, now of course we're talking about on the IS development, and that seems important. Now, because we just want to know that how would you actually maximize the use of the new technologies? For example, did you actually spend cost in developing any of the software or any of the system, all right, for the business? And as a result, this is number one. Now, so again, now, the ABM students, they failed the exam because, again, we mentioned there wasn't any of the suggestion given. And same thing here since you're looking at the very first question. Just remember, if you have identified any of the problems or the weaknesses in the exam question from the case, and please, please, please make sure to code the problem and the solution. All right, so solution has to be formulated or any of the strategies to be formulated to address the issue. And that's important. Okay, great. Now, of course, next, if you get to see, is to increase the web presence we are looking at. Now, class, any measures right now, I would say no. Okay, now, class, so you find that in the question, so we say in these contexts, only total revenue figure it's given. Can you see that? That is the one. But not the web sales. Can you see? So therefore, we realize that class from here, the suggested KPI or the measure that we can use, it's to measure on the web sales generated. Okay. So in a way, we know class via the online stores and this is how we can continue to go for online marketing and to attract our customers to buy online so therefore in a way we realize that yes that is one of the points we are looking at that class then moving on and let's see making use of the big data again unfortunately there is no measures to be shown right here, which is again a no. So let's come out with the suggested KPI again. So for this suggested KPI, making sure that class will get to see this together. Now we say, for instance, the course relating to the investment or the application of the big data okay now so we know in a way class when they say course relating to investment or application of the big data system and that's the reason why the investment in the current erps the enterprise resource planning system with that seen to be important and that's what we will have to look into. So therefore, now in the current report itself, we say, unfortunately, I wouldn't see any of them. Okay. And that has to be included.
Okay, great. Now, moving on, let's see to simplify the supply chain. Now, class. Now, I believe that this is mainly to focus on the reduction of the number of suppliers. You agree? Now, so in a way, that could save cost. And class, ask yourself. Now, are there any of the measures that is in relation to this particular strategy? Now, the answer would be a yes. Okay, let's have a look. Now, if you refer back to your exam question here, you could actually see things like this. Now, what is it? Now, number one. Now, we find that it was the one we mentioned just now for the number of product lines bought per supplier and the number of suppliers that we get to see in this case. And as a result class, let's have a look at, now we say it, at present, now measures such as the number of product lines, okay? Now, so we say it, bought per supplier is being given and the number of the suppliers, can you see that? All right, are available. And these are all the good measures for us to actually see. And don't forget, we know that somehow all these require benchmarking. Okay, now so plus. Now when I say to go for benchmarking that everyone knows, what is benchmarking again? Now class, bearing in mind, if you get to see benchmarking, that is very much about, say for example, by having the competitive benchmarking, by comparing your performance, all right, with the competitor, say for example. So as a result, we say that competitive benchmarking could help seeing the number of the suppliers recruited or engaged by the business. Okay, so therefore, more on these benchmarking will then be covered in the later part of our session. Okay, now, so class, now don't forget, now we're basically here to collect at least another eight marks, at least. Okay, so previously it was about four and eight, and in total about 12 marks here. And not to forget, that's not the end of the exam question. Now, of course, for our first part. Now, what about the third part here? Now, we are talking about D, the design, okay? So, let us see. Now, when it comes to this design part class, I think it's particularly important for us to have a look at, say, for example, uh, what should be the points to be included. For example, at present, okay? Now, we say only financial data are available here. Can you see that? So, so far, these are all to do with, okay, as we say, the financial data. And we realize that it's just a simple set of financial information provided, and mainly on revenue and operating profit. Now, it's not even a proper financial statement set we're talking about, such as like the SOPL, the SOFP. They are technically not even to look into these part here for your information. So therefore, this is what you have to know. And subsequently, number two, the second part. Now, this second part class is, we say we prepare this set of the report. Okay, it's mainly to uh, go for or to support the annual review use. So we say it, class no external information provided here. Okay, so we say it, all we need is a set of strategic report. Now for the board reference, and that's important. Now, of course, when we talk about these external information, we are looking at the competitor's information and more information from the customers. And that's what we need, okay? 
Now, class number three. Now, there is no elements of both planning and control. Now, that is seem to be another problem right here. So, when they talk about now no planning and control, we are talking about the use of budgets. Okay, so do we actually have a set of budgets? Say, for example, for the next couple of years' time, but so far there is none, as well as the variances for our business. Okay, class. Now we get to see these variances for our business. We're talking about now if we compare our target result. And the actual result, okay. Now that could be the variance, say for example, for our revenue, and then at the same time for our cost. All these are seem to be very important, but it seems that it is now in the absence of all this. That plus, then of course moving on, we'll then be able to continue seeing the next part, such as like. Now we say lacking of prior. Year results for comparison. Now, plus, let's have a look at this case when it comes to the prior year results here. Now, so they provided us only the information in year twenty seventeen, and therefore we know that plus. Now, here I'm going to state now with at least three years in the past. Okay, at least three years. Information should be obtained, and at present, I would say it, only data from twenty seventeen is provided. Can you see that? Okay, so that is the point so far that we know when it comes to the point which is lacking of the prior year results in a way. Now, is that all? Now, of course, when it comes to the design of the report,、uh, that's not the end, and we're going to see even the next area as well. Class, for example. Now, no commentary notes are provided. Now, because we know this is somehow mainly to support the reference of the board. And since they do not involve in day-to-day -day operation, can you say that? And despite the fact that in the question they say this is not required, but somehow it should be included. Okay. Now, so therefore, class. Now, so far, these are the design areas that we have to know. And class. Now, we believe that that's also one part we will have to command. Now, what is it? Now, class, do you realize that? In this set of the report, now basically they are showing you all the measures, and、uh, regardless of whether it's strategic or it's operational, and they're going to show everything here. So as a result, let's take it. no categorization of the measures presented in the report. No, so we say it if it's with. Say, for example, the use of balance scorecard. At least, it shows us that it park under which particular category, and somehow we find that yes, now that's what we want because you have to understand this is mainly for the use of the management. All right, once again. Okay, now so shouldn't be a problem, class. And moving on, to, and one more point that I have to state is that now such report, okay, contains areas on operational issue. Now, so when we talk about the annual report, strategic in nature, and we're not supposed actually to cover all these. For example, the average time between the customers entry. And the employees' greeting time. Now, because we know that class, in a way, all these appear to be too operational in nature. Okay. Now, so even now, so we say greeting time by the employees now appears to be too operational 
in nature. Can you see that? So since that's mainly for the use of the management, it should not be included, all right, in a way. So class, now that's mainly to do with the design part. And with each point, you will gain at least a mark. I repeat, at least one mark here. So one, two, three, four, six, and then seven. So class, you have in hand at least 19 marks already. Okay, on top of what we have just covered. Now, I do understand that students will probably face a problem like this and say, Steffi, uh, somehow we need to understand that uh, do you really think uh, we have sufficient time in order for us to actually go through every single question like this? Now, I do understand that class, it takes a long time right there. Okay, so that's the reason why, like what I mentioned just now, it is actually important for you to plan for your answer. I repeat, it's important for you to plan for your answer and so that you know the direction. Okay, now great. Now, of course, class, the very last part, it's P, which is the presentation. Now, when it comes to the presentation part, uh, let us see this. Now, this presentation part here, for example, as what we said, now, what do you think about the layout, the presentation of such a report right now? Because that seems to be important, I repeat. Now, so class, for instance, we say it. Now, the presentation wise seems to be simple and clear, but it appears to be too brief in a way. Now, so as a result, that breakdown, okay, on the sales, for example, uh, into the uh, physical store sales from the store and web sales figure should be presented. Okay, so somehow we know they need more information, but it's just too rigid or limited to only the operating profit and the revenue. Now, moving on, the second part. Now, the second part is that class try to bear in mind. Now, there is a possibility, sometimes in the exam, you will see they provide you a very long, say, for example, set of the appendix with all the figures, right, being presented down there. And as a result, we say it, Plus, all figures here in the report appears to be clean because have been rounded, okay? So, this will facilitate the reference by the user or the bot, okay? Now, so class, now which means we know that from whatever we have just presented, and somehow that's mainly for our very first question as well as the first part. Can you see that? Okay. Now, that's the reason why we say out of the 50 marks passing mark, and if you can actually do well for this part, which comprises of the 20 marks, that adds very much of the value in passing your examination. And that's what everyone must know. Okay. Now, so class... Now, you should know, based on what I have mentioned just now, now, I said when we actually cover all these, these are just the key points. And I know it is still now for you to go for the paper-based examination. And the following year, where you will start to see the computer-based examination for the uh, P level or the ST, SP level or strategy professional papers. Okay, class. Now, so therefore, in the exam, how are you going to write all these in full seem to be important. Now, the answer in the exam. Okay, class, now do allow me now to start off with the very first point and just to actually illustrate how you come up with a full point for this. Now, I'm going to apply back the mission just now like to be the largest clothing retailer. Okay, so let us see. Now, so here 
Let's start with this one. Say, for example, in this case. Now, we mentioned. Now, one of the missions, I'm going to demonstrate. One of the missions of our company is to be the largest clothing retailer. Now, so, of course, we can actually refer back to some of the information in the first paragraph. Now, that's in B land. Now, so we say it based on the current set of the annual report. Now, measure such as market share could be used to measure the achievement of these aim. Now, of course, we say, it, however, it would be more objective, all right, by including information such as the market leader rate, okay, as means of supporting, all right, as means of supporting the above objective. All right, that's it. Now, so class, now in my set of the online intensive revision course here, now what happened is that class, I don't expect to actually type everything in full like this. And knowing that in the model answer that we're going to see later, in the final part of this question, you can see class, uh, the answer appears to be more informative in a way. But of course, in the exam, by having the keywords and then by making use of the proper sentences, the structure, the format, and that helps you to gain and to score as what we say, the professional marks of the four marks. Can you see that? Okay. So as a result, later, we're going to see the model answer. And of course, that model answer to support the big data, we'll be able to know what are the required areas or the answers in the exam. Okay. Now, so for the very first part of the question, that's it. And it's a very long question, so it takes a slightly longer time since it's the very first question that we are seeing here for our course. Now, so class, now once we have actually done this, now in my next video, you'll be able to see how the new measures to be derived and by the use of the appendix to perform the calculation and following by the value chain analysis as well as the big data for the very first question of ours, Chiven. Okay, so class, thank you very much for watching the first part of this question or this video. And therefore, we shall see again on the next part of the question in video number two. All right. So anyway, thank you very much.